welcome everyone uh, this tfx trading floor and uh, it's another new week we are on a monday morning we want to have an overview on what we expect on the market and what we had uh, last week and what actually we may be expecting this week uh, but before that uh, what we will have to do is that uh, let's have have a recap on what we had last week uh, last week had uh, a very good good market uh, whereby you had several trades and uh, we can just uh, do a recap on what we had last week uh, last week if you if you remember very well uh, what we are dealing with was just uh, most of the cases we are dealing with yen buys but uh, you know usdjpy is, is part of the majors and that's why we had nothing to do with it so from there if you check most trade we had uh, audi jpy but you can check these swings that we are getting from the h4 because I told you one of the key things you need to notice is that uh, especially if I can even draw here what we call the 200 day period moving average that can help you to check the overall trend of the market. You can check where the price, price is in conjunction with what we have right here. You can check very well that actually the market was just swinging up. So every time the market, market swings down, we are moving up in the overall direction of the market because the structure continues to move the market up high so that's why we are picking these swings. So that's why we had this Audi JPY buy from this one. So from this point, we moved up. Apart from that, we had again a GY buy. We had GBPJ Euro. We had CHF JPY buy. You can check this minimal swing here on the H4. We also had uh, the same on the GBPJ JPY was our best performer from this point moving up all this way. And we are having one and the same story you can check. The structure is still moving up. And this candle actually on Friday did close above the high of this. So what we're expecting is a retracement. Then we move back up uh, in the direction of the prevailing trend. Euro JPY also performed quite well. Uh, this swing here because you can check the market. And so every time the market swings down, I'm here swinging back in the direction of the prevailing trend of the market. We also had NZDD JPY. This was our, last, was our last trade on Thursday. We moved up with this market after this swing. The swing was late, but actually you can check what we have. So if you can be able to check the structure whereby the market is moving up and a very high momentum, ADX is one of it you can check. And uh, this one is just, uh, these uh, three lines, they help us to know when the market is swinging in the, in the prevailing trend of the market because we are trade traders. So th these are some of the trades that we had for the week. I think uh, according to me, those were, according to our trade, that's what we had. That, those were our best performing trades. Others were like gold JPY. This swing here, we swing with this market here up, uh, gold versus the yen. And apart from that, uh, so what you're expecting is just the continuation of the, of, the, of the market trend. And from that, let's see what we have here today. Uh, for this market and uh, that's why you find like for the for the whole of last week we barely missed any trade we, we almost got everything even in our bx indices the only key thing you need is now you need to have that patience to, to let to let your trade move over those days one two three days in the prevailing trade so that you can be able to maximize on 180 value what i mean is you can be able to average at least 100 200 even 300 uh, pips like what happens to gbp jpy uh, if again you come here uh, on this week, remember we said the fundamentals moves the market. So what you find on the technical analysis is what you find here. It is moved by the fundamental part. So that's why you find like on this part here, uh, economic releases of the week, we don't have much. Like uh, today, we, we barely have anything. Tomorrow the same, except of just uh, the consumer confidence. One of the key things we're expecting this week is on Wednesday where you're having the NZDD monitor the policy statement. This rate statement you find here, you can check here the most of the market, uh, most of the country's fundamental analysis. There's no, no one who is ready again to increase any interest rate because now the inflation after the COVID pandemic and all the others, apart from the Russia, Ukraine war and what is, hap is happening in Israel versus uh, Hamas war. What actually is happening is uh, now the market now need to stabilize or the price now need to stabilize, including the interest rate. Now, what we can only do is that the inflation has been able to be, has been beaten quite well. If you check in US, in uh, in UK, and part of the Euro region, what is actually happening is that the inflation has now come down. So what is happening? Interest rate will follow suit. Apart from that point, 
so you, can, you don't expect any increase in any interest rate here, especially on Wednesday the, from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. I'm not expecting anything, but just either maintaining the same or cutting the interest rate as per what the economy, economic, uh, uh, economy is going about. So apart from that, now you can check again, you have the CPA for the euro on Wednesday. So on Wednesday is when we are expecting a bit of market volatility from the euro and from NZDD. And, and nowadays, uh, again, do not ignore these uh, uh, USD simple releases. We are getting a lot of uh, market volatility during the New York session. That volatility is there because, again, we are in the Q4. Apart from that, you can check uh, on Thursday. Again, you have the OPEC meeting. Uh, this is very key nowadays because of the oil prices. And then the unemployment and claims from the US. From the US, this one, again, as I've explained, every time you, you find this one in red because they are telling you it's high impact news, uh, again, you need to pay key attention because this tells you the volatility will be quite high. And apart from there, then on Friday, we'll, we'll close with unemployment claims from, uh, again, it is on Friday, it will be on December 1. That means, again, uh, apart from that, we may maybe we may expect something like the non-farm payrolls. Or the non-farm payrolls comes on first Friday of every month, maybe added, as the week progresses. So that we don't have much ex, ex, uh, expect on Wednesday where we're having the NZD, and then you can find that this week, we are expecting a quite a volatile market. So apart from that, we'll keep on updating you from our Telegram. Our Telegram is where everything happens, and uh, you uh, from here, this is where you post most of our market. This is where you find everything. And again, do not forget that uh, we are into the holiday session. What we're expecting is that you can check, we have our, what, we, what we call a holiday crash program, whereby all our signals will, are only going for $25 a month rate and our strategy $100. So it is a 50% even below in our full compressive class cost is just 200. So what that, that means you don't have any program. What it means is uh, we, we, what we are doing is that is uh, according to your time frame. that's what we are working with. Uh, uh, from now all the way to that first de December. And then uh, we'll, we'll go back to our number. So what, that's what is happening. Again, this is where we do most of our mentorship. This is where we post our trade, most of our trade uh, and other detailed information. You'll find it here on our Telegram. So miss not from this point, uh, apart from that. So from Stifex trading flow, we'll keep on updating you move from the Forex market and any other uh anything else we are expecting like uh will be because we also be live on tiktok every day from one uh yeah i think from one that's when we'll be dealing with the, we'll be going live on tiktok we'll be discussing more like this or potential entry use djpy cell uh from this point i'll be confirming in the next few hours and we'll be able to see our first trade of the week Again, don't forget from our we also do vx indices the rig.com vx indices and I've been able to be performing quite exemplarily on the same. So that's that, that is it from Stifex Trading Floor. Keep on learning, keep it here. Uh, let's meet on uh, on other platforms, but th that's what we're expecting for the week. So pay keen attention, make sure you're earning as you learn uh, from our Telegram uh, page and our TikTok or, or Stifex Trading Floor. So that is it. Thank you, guys.